In this video, I'm going to show you why it's super important to be able to deal with imbalanced data when it comes to multi-class classification problems. And we're going to do that throughout an example in which first we're going to train a model on an imbalanced data set and we're going to see what F1 score we get. And then we're going to correct that imbalance and then retrain the model and see whether we get an improvement in that metric or not. Okay. We're going to be using data sets that we created with make classification and make blobs in scikit-learn. And I have another video for that. I'm going to put down a link in the description so you can see exactly how you can create your own uh, data sets for particular classification problems. So you can test out different algorithms, play around with classes and so on and so forth. Okay. So in this video, we're going to train these data sets that were created either with make classification or with make blobs and then correct with oversampling and undersampling using um, SMOTE. I think it's called SMOTE. It's a, it's a method that is part of a library called Imbalanced Learn. And we're going to use that for oversampling. And then we're going to use another method for undersampling the majority class. Now we want to see the results. For example, if we train a model on uh, the data set that is more noisy, with a very imbalanced data set. And then we can train the model also on the data set that we created with make blobs, where all of the classes are, are linearly separable. So let's go ahead and do that. So we create our classification problem with make classification. So our classes are 90 percent, five and 2.5. Let's just plot this again. So we make sure that we're seeing the same thing. So make classification, a little bit more noisy, a completely imbalanced data set. Let's see what results we get with a, a baseline classifier like a decision tree. So we're going to use a decision tree classifier. And if we use the cross validate method from scikit-learn, this is a beautiful method because all you have to do is provide the model. You have to provide the data set and the labels and then you provide it with a number of, of folds that you want to go through for cross-validation. Cross and then you can just specify the scoring metric that you, that you desire. And we're going to use the F1 macro because we're dealing with a multi-class classification problem here. Let's run this. And now let's score it. And what's important to us is this uh, test score key because we get a dictionary and we get an array with the scores, with the F1 scores for all of the folds. So you can see our average, I think is around 0.6, which is very bad. Okay. I mean, to get an F1 score of 0.6, I mean, you cannot brag about that. So let's try and see how we can, what results actually we get with, uh, with make blobs because here we should get very good results because all of these classes are perfectly separable. So our uh, algorithm should have literally no problem fitting this data and finding the solution. Let's run this. As you can see, again, they all, they all are linearly separable. Now let's run this and see what scores we get. Oh, this is perfect. We get almost perfect results for our classifier. And it was expected because everything is perfectly li linearly separable and they're like nicely clustered around their centroids. It's, it's a perfect problem. But in the in real life for uh, for imbalanced data sets, you won't get this type of situation. You're mostly going to be dealing with a lot of noise, like in our make classification problem. So let's go ahead and run our make classification problem again. And then we're going to try and fix it. Okay, so now we have our X and Y. So now what we need to do in order to try and get better results, what we could do is to oversample the minority class and to undersample the majority class. And this is something that we can do with SMOTE. Again, I hope that I'm saying it right, which is a method that is found in Imbalanced Learn, which is a Python library. Uh, that you can use with pip and install imbalanced learn or pip if you use pip. 
and then you can also find the project here and this mode class acts like a data transform object that must be defined and configured and then you, in, you need to fit it on the data so that it can create another data set that you can use for your model so from imbalance learn we're going to import smote and this is how we can oversample very simple we just have to fit and then resample so now if we count our class distribution we're going to see that our classes are perfectly balanced so we went from 90 which was let's see we went from 95 and then two 2.5s to an equal class distribution of 25 percent and that's beautiful so easy right just this oversampling is done perfectly so if we would plot our uh, scatter plot you see what it did it basically added more samples in the minority classes and they are created along the lines of the original samples in the minority class so this the way smote acts it doesn't influence in any way it just adds it along uh, the lines between the original axis of the minority classes and this is quite beautiful because it helps us a lot now we could also undersample the majority class with random undersampler because we have in our data set you saw that we have 90 percent 90 percent of the data is part of just uh, one class so we can undersample that class so we can make it a little bit more realistic okay so, so we can help the algorithm so now let's import undersampler as well and we're going to also create a pipeline so let's do both let's oversample and undersample right we're going to oversample the minority class and we're going to undersample the majority class and then we're going to create a pipeline with these steps and then we're just going to fit and resample on the original x and y axis let me just quickly rerun this again because we already fitted and resampled so what i'm going to do just going to make sure that i run this again and let's go back so now we can perform our oversampling and undersampling and if we count our class distribution again you see we have perfect results we have perfectly balanced classes and now let's perform our uh, cross validation and see what results we get now remember the previous results that we got let's just review them again uh, okay so yeah the previous results were was around 0.6 right so it was mostly 0 .6, uh, 0 0.6 0 0.5 0 0.7 so it was around 0.6 let's see what we get now okay we run this now let's run the scores oh that is simply amazing by undersampling and oversampling we increased our f1 score from 0.6 the average to around 0.91 92 even i think this is incredible that's why it's very very important to be able to understand why class imbalance is such a big problem when it comes to multi-class classification problems i really hope that this video helped you and i'll see you in the next video